Hi friends. So today's video is going to be the like five ways that I am preparing myself to go back to my classroom after winter break. If you're watching this the day that I post it, happy new year. It is now 2023. We made it. I can't believe that it's, part of me is like, I can't believe that it's already 2023. And the other part of me is like, we're finally on a new year. But if, I don't know what it is. I know that like every new year, we always get like new year's resolution-y or like, this is the year that I'm gonna make a change, but like I really feel it this time, like I'm buying in. And I feel like that's the biggest issue with New Year's resolutions and why people don't really stick to them is because there's no buy-in. I'm buying in and I'm buying in. I'm just gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna be talking while I get ready because it's New Year's Eve and I have to go um, like to my family. So I'm gonna like put makeup on and get kind of cute. I'm not dressing up like at all. <laughs> I'll put on like some nice sweats <laughs> to go sit in my mom's living room, but uh, I'm going to do my makeup. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be talking about how I'm preparing and doing my makeup. Grab a snack, grab a coffee, grab a water because we're hydrating in 2023 because I'm dehydrated all the time. Let's do it. The first way that I think I'm going to prepare myself for going back to the classroom after winter break is I'm going to romanticize my life as a teacher this year like I've decided I'm gonna romanticize my life as a teacher and I know that that's like a very trendy thing right now like romanticizing life on TikTok and a couple months ago I like thought romanticizing was like kind of dumb honestly and I kind of like judged it or I just thought it was like kind of ridiculous but I don't like don't get me wrong I'm not intending on being like if shit's bad shit's bad you know what I'm saying like and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it because I'm not a sugarcoating type of girl I don't sugarcoat anything for anybody never have never will like that's just not who I am however I do want to like I love my job but right now if you look on like social media or in like regular news teaching is not it right now it like we are getting thrown through the absolute ringer because our job is just like going through this massive ridiculous change and it's hard it's hard to be a teacher that's sad because I'm a third year teacher like I've been teaching for three and a half years I am not supposed to feel this way already the drop off of teachers quitting like how many teachers have been quitting the profession or just like leaving schools changing districts like mid-year is insane the, like i don't think i would ever leave mid-year unless it was something like real bad but it's i get it and if you're not a teacher like try not to judge it's like it's bad so i say that to say that i want to romanticize my teaching life like i want to like i want to get rid of that like toxic feeling that I have when my alarm goes off in the morning and I have to come to work and get ready to work like I want to romanticize that I want to romanticize you know having a morning routine and getting myself dressed and like putting on a cute outfit to like you look good you feel good and going to school yeah like the stuff that's gonna happen at school is gonna be trash but then like I don't know, like the cute stuff about teaching that I do love, like making copies or like putting a game together for them or like actually teaching the thing that I actually like to do. Like the little stuff I think I want to focus more on and romanticize that because the big stuff is going to be big stuff. The bad stuff is going to be bad. There's zero changing that and I'm not saying that I'm going to ignore that or act like that's not there. But I'm going to try and make those moments not feel as bad because I'm surrounding them with a bunch of little things that I love and that are I'm, I can find enjoyment out of, I think is what I'm trying to say. And like having a life outside of teaching, like getting off work at contract hours. I don't think I told you guys, but I did quit cheer. And now like I have more time to get off work and 
do other things, like work on other things and better my life in other ways to where I'm not just like solely reliant on teaching anymore, like for pure happiness or motivation. So that is the biggest change that I think I'm going to be making in 2023 is romanticizing my life as a teacher, basically. Second way that I am preparing to go back to the classroom is sticking with my classroom management. Like, I I see it all the time. We get to this point in the year and people just kind of like throw classroom management out of the way. Like, especially if you like teach at a semester-based school. So like, we're about to go into second semester versus like a trimester or something like that. People like throw it out the window when they go back because they're like, well, I, I, you know, I've been with them for the full first semester. Like they should know what they're doing. Yeah, they should, but they're also children and they don't. Like you have to go through those procedures and those expectations and those rules again. Like we had a two week long winter break. So I'm probably going to be hitting those for the next two weeks because like every day I'm going to be talking about it. I'm still going to be teaching. Like we don't need to go as slow or as in depth as I did in August when we first started school, but we still need to like go over those things. They need to like remember what it's like to be in my classroom and to be in school and what that means. They just had like some of them just were traveling where their norms, like they didn't have any norms. They weren't even in their homes. They were traveling for the last two weeks or they were in a bunch of like people's houses. So they were in their home. They were at their aunt's house. They were at their grandma's house. They were at their best friend's dad's house. Like they were at a bunch of different people's houses where there was a bunch of different rules. So they probably really didn't stick to any real rules because it's the holidays. Like. Their bedtimes are thrown off because it's the holidays. They could, they're on break. Like they get to do things that they don't normally get to do in the middle of the school week. And that's okay. I now have to transition them back into, okay, now we're back into school. Just like I'm sure their parents are doing at home. Like, yeah, we, I let you stay up till midnight or 2 a.m. Or I didn't care what time you went to bed because you were on break, you could sleep in, during the day if you wanted to, or yeah, I didn't care what you ate or if you got dressed or wanted to be in your pajamas all day because you were like on break. But now that you're not on break anymore, like you have a bedtime, you need to be in bed by 11 or you need to be in bed by 10 or whatever. Uh, this No, you can't just eat whatever you want. Like everybody is going back to their normal routine. So we as teachers have to go back to that normal routine and that classroom management as well. You can't just like throw classroom management out the window now that we're going back. I need my moisturizer, hold on. So yeah, that is another way that I'm really going to, that's another thing that I'm really gonna be focused on and like I'm preparing myself to, you know, kind of take it slow and go through those steps over again and we might have to like backtrack so that's what i'm gonna do because what i will not do is just have chaos in my classroom all the time like i just won't do that another way that i'm preparing to transition back into the classroom after break is so we have monday off because that is when new year's day is being like observed because it fell on a Sunday this year. So um, we have Monday off, which I am very thankful for. And I'm probably gonna do like nothing on that Monday, highly recommend. Um, but on Tuesday, I'm probably gonna go in early, like early, like 7 a.m. like early. Cause we don't start until, we don't have to be there until 8.30. That's when our contract time starts. I'm probably gonna go in like hella early on Tuesday to get fully prepared because what I hate is going in after a break expecting everything to be done and then like pre-break Chelsea was like ooh post-break Chelsea will just do this because 
the two Chelsea's don't talk during break. Like during break, Chelsea is like, we ain't doing nothing. I don't know what to tell you. We're not doing shit. So that's the problem is that um, I don't remember if I have like little things that I need to do. But also I just wanna like be in my space and mentally prepare to get through another semester. Like we got through a whole semester. Second semester always goes by fast. But still, like we're in the we're in the final stages. Like we are wrapping things up. This is the end. Like we are in the end game now. And I want to get my mind right and get ready for that before I have kids, you know, in my classroom or before, you know, I want to go in early so that like all the people that are probably going to like want to talk to me or like need something from me because like I'm a teen lead or, you know, for I want to start running my mouth to people like I want to make sure that I have plenty of time to get my life together in the classroom so yeah I don't always advocate for going in early before your contract time I definitely think that you should stick to your contract time but I'm probably gonna go in early on Tuesday just to like I said get my mind right and get myself together and ready. So like I said, pre-break Chelsea and post-break Chelsea don't talk because during break Chelsea takes control. And I have not done a single thing for school this entire break. I've worked on like TPT stuff, but like that's my side business. So I don't count that as like doing school stuff. I haven't done a single thing. I turned off my notifications for my email. Like I've not looked at anything. So what I will probably do is the Monday before we go back to break or back from break. Um, so on Monday, tomorrow, <laughs> um, what I will probably do is look at my lesson plan. So like my laptop here. So I will probably look over my lesson plans for Tuesday just to see what I'm doing because I did plan like fully before we went on break. So I know that I have like everything planned for Tuesday for like what I'm actually teaching, but I wanna make sure like, do I need to make copies? Did I forget to make copies? Did I say that I was gonna find a worksheet and I like forgot to find that worksheet or something like that? I just want to make sure that I am fully ready and prepared. I want to make sure that I go over the content that I'm teaching, make sure that I'm actually ready to teach it, like all of that stuff. I just want to make sure that I am ready. Another thing that I am going to be preparing for the like first week back, I'm actually going to pick out my outfits for the entire week. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there's gonna be a lot going on that first week back. Like I just know it because even if it goes well, like even if it would, even if it turns out to be an absolutely amazing week and everything goes smoothly, there's gonna be a lot more going on than what has been going on in my life the last two weeks because I've been on break and I've been able to take my time and do whatever it is that I want to do. That's not going to be the case at all this week, even if it goes really well. So I want to make sure that I take the time to just go ahead and pick out my outfits. That way, if like my sleep schedule is trash <laughs> transitioning back, which it shouldn't be because I was getting up still. Like I didn't sleep past eight o'clock or 830 at all during these last two weeks. So it shouldn't be that big of an adjustment. But, like, if I am struggling to get up at 6 a.m., then, or 5 a.m., or 5.30 a.m., I haven't picked what time I'm going to start getting up this year. I kind of want to change that. But, um, then at least I know, like, I don't have to worry about picking out my outfit, which I always pick out my outfit the night before anyway, but I'm going to pick out my entire weeks worth of outfits that way I literally don't have to do it at all this upcoming week and I can just focus on 
transitioning back into the classroom and decompressing when I get home and working on the other stuff that I want to work on when I get home and all that kind of stuff. So trying not to do anything more than I really need to or have to. So yeah, that is really just like how I am planning on, you know, jump starting this year. I have like, I have goals and like things that I want to accomplish and that'll be in next week's video. Next week I'm going to do like a new, a true like new year's resolutions and like teacher goals or what I want for my classroom goals for 2023 i'm gonna be filming that video and posting it next week so if you want more of like goal setting stuff for your teacher life or for the classroom definitely make sure that you subscribe so that you see that one next week because yeah i'm excited to like do that stuff as well so that'll be next week i definitely did like a full face of makeup without actually meaning to but that's just kind of where life took me today. So that's what we're doing. So, okay, makeup is now done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get like dressed and ready to go over to my parents' house. But that was it for this one. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that some of the things that I talked about resonated with you. Again, these are just the things that I'm gonna be doing in my teacher life to get me prepared to start my second semester. I really want this second semester to be just better in a mindset way in my connection and how I personally feel because first semester was not it. So I hope that second semester is better and I hope that at least I have a good like jump start by preparing for it both mentally emotionally and physically like I talked about in this video. Let me know what you are planning to do to get yourself ready to go back to the classroom. I know some people go back when I go back and some people go back the week after because you got on break a week later than me. So if that is you, I'm like low-key envious of you because now you have a whole nother week and I have to go back. But it's gonna be fine because we're changing mindset and we are gonna be prepared. We are ready to go back on January 3rd. So yeah, that was it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.